Hello, butterflies. This is Dinah's Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. Today's pick a card is going to be what big changes are coming up for you. So the intention of this reading is basically asking spirit what big changes are coming up for you. What can you guys uh, look out for? What can you be aware of? Um, and um, just basically to kind of see the overall energy, okay? This is kind of like a prediction read, if you will. Uh, similar to kind of like six, six months out, my intention is kind of six months out in terms of changes here, okay? This will be a timeless pick a card, so when you find it is when you are meant to find it here. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to talk too much and just don't have any fancy uh, crystals or anything like that. We just have one, two, three, and four as our groups here, okay? Uh, so you guys go ahead and ask your guides what big changes are coming up for you, okay? And we will get started. Hello, group one. What big changes are coming to your life here, okay? So the first thing I get for you guys, group one, is that I'm hearing empowerment, okay? So the changes happening, uh, the big changes is empowerment, but I'm also getting a sense of you guys getting yourself out of a situation. It's almost like you have this newfound hope or inspiration, and it's almost like you guys have just this new fresh energy of knowing that you create your life the way you want to with this magician here, knowing that you guys are the manifester, you're the creator, okay? And I feel like that's something more um, like this big change is something that's going to, it's going to resonate with your psyche. It's going to be something that you're never going to be able to forget. And with the five of cups in reverse, I'm getting a sense of a lot of the kind of loneliness or the, a lot of the, um, maybe hurtful things from the past that was really difficult difficult for you guys to move on from, emotional issues, whatever they may be, um, that has been plaguing you or haunting you, things like that. That stuff is getting transmuted. I'm getting an image of somebody transmuting like dark energy into light. So the big changes for you guys is definitely um, purifying. It's almost like purifying, detoxifying your life in some way. And this is all you're doing. It's not something that like is not somebody and it's not like an event. It's your doing as you guys naturally go through your lives. This is just what's happening. OK, the seven of swords to me is like taking a risk. OK, I'm reading these more intuitively here. So I feel like the big changes for you guys is taking a risk. You're just going to be like, OK, I'm going to jump out this window. Um, I'm just going to do it. So there could just be some kind of leap of faith or you're just going to be feeling more confident with the magician uh, because you're like, well, I manifested this before and it turned out fine. Or I followed my gut with this before and it turned out fine. Like, that's what I'm getting. It's almost like using past experiences. There's a lot of wisdom you guys are going to cultivate here or you have cultivated. And I feel like that is you're li literally using your wisdom and life experience to make better choices for yourself. With the Seven of Swords, it is about you guys um, taking a risk and seeing it pay off in some way. Okay, so that's a big change that's going to happen in your life. Uh, there could be something that you've been putting off or procrastinating with, but you're just going to say fuck it and do it. And then it's going to, it's going to pay itself off with the magician. You're going to be like, wow, I created that. That was me. Wow. That's like what I get for you guys. Okay. Let's see what else we've got for you guys. Yeah, we have the double here. Have the queen of pentacles. So for group, group one, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, there is some creativeness. I do feel like you guys are really just venturing out and you're um, exploring new ideas. You're not afraid anymore. Maybe you were, but you're not afraid anymore. The Queen of Pentacles, I love this image of the Queen of Pentacles because this represents her perfectly. She's a concoctor, just like the magician. She makes stuff, okay? she She's the spell worker. She makes spells. She makes stuff work in her life. So I also feel like for you guys, group one, from now on, when there's changes, when there's things not going the way you want, it's almost like you're going to be concocting a potion or something like that. And this is through spiritual wisdom that you gain. You're like, okay, I know how to get myself out of this rut. Now, how do I get myself out of this? I'm getting problem solving with the Queen of Pentacles. This is something you're going to just naturally do. And it's not going to be anything you're going to have to worry about. With the devil here, this is a sense of temptation. The devil is about feeling entrapped, entrapment, stuff like that. It's almost like the stuff that held you back is not no longer going to hold you back so those are the big changes coming up for you guys the stuff that holds you back no longer is going to hold you back because i feel like you're no longer afraid or again you've required so much wisdom when you have a lot of wisdom nothing can make you afraid anymore the knight of wands is about spirit like free spirit this is somebody who is excited about something so finally excitement's coming back to your life about something you're going to create something you're going to do a place you're going to go and things like that okay so that is exciting for you guys love that 
Okay, we have, yeah, Vast Vistas, expand your horizons. Look at that. Yeah, I do see travel for you, if that's what you're trying to manifest as well here. Okay, um, but I also feel like there is going to be just new horizons. Okay, you guys could definitely be going on a trip that you've been wanting or there's some goal that you're going to accomplish that has been very really difficult for you to do in the past or something that you're just like, when, why do I keep repeating the same mistakes? And it's like you guys have entered a doorway of uh, it's like, you know, the world energy where you create a new cycle for yourself. You've, you're starting on a new cycle. So the, the that energy you experience, is not going to be the same old, same old type of energy here. But yeah, expand your horizons. So I feel for you, group one, there is something you're going to be expanding on. Either you're going to learn something new, like a new skill or something like that or a program or whatever, and you're going to expand or something you're already doing is going to expand. You're going to start seeing possibilities for yourself, possibilities you didn't see before. The door to romance to me is about your heart chakra. I do feel for the new changes or like the big changes for you guys is your heart chakra opening. If you've been working on your heart chakra, this is confirmation. Um, but the door uh, to romance is usually about being closed off. So I feel like the big changes to you guys is if you guys are closed off, uh, you're going to basically be open again. You're going to be opening your heart to more self-love, okay? But to also romantic love, okay? You're ready to kind of get back out there, uh, maybe try dating or, you know, romantic love or whatever. But I'm also getting a sense of just allowing experiences to come to you with the similar when you when you open your heart you are allowing experiences to come to you you know you're allowing yourself to experience uh happiness and hope and all that stuff like that right so again you've gained a lot of wisdom through like uh life um recently and i feel like this is just personal growth to be honest okay um and whatever again like i said whatever has affected you is not going to affect you anymore okay this is like more of a lucky period uh, for you guys emerging this is a highly creative time uh for these big changes and this is even um hope around relationships so if you're looking for a relationship here it is like most likely during the cycle or you know the big changes you're gonna find new people and feel uh more content with them or feel like they're like-minded rather than attracting people who don't understand you I get you finally attracting people where you're like, yeah, this is my tribe or these are my people. That's the vibe I get. We have the transformation and reverse. A big change for you guys is is to, um, I feel like this is about transformation and reverse is like a resistant to change. So I do feel like you guys are like, okay, I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not afraid to change. I know I need to change. Let's, you know, let's newfound hope. That's like, that's the sense that I'm getting here. So with the cycle, uh, again, the, the cycle of the transformation is, um, when you want to transform, things change, but when you're resistant. So that's why I feel like that five of cups was for you. You guys may have been stuck in a really long cycle, like 10 years, like 10, 15. It's, it's a karmic type of Saturn energy. And you're just like, when the fuck am I going to transform this? When am I going to stop worrying about this? Like, that's what I'm getting here. And I feel like these big changes, that, that's kind of what's happening here. But also, if you've been feeling resistant, I feel like you're naturally just going to flow and let the universe do its job. Uh, energy signature, the past is in the present. I do feel for you, group one, uh, you guys, I don't know if you have it already, but there's a sense of clear sentience for you where you're going to start sensing energy. Energy signatures, I feel like a big change is you guys are going to stop allowing so many people in your space. Because this is a sense of like, um, and not even that, but it's also sensing energy and situations like you guys are going to have heightened uh, um, ability where you're going to be like wait a minute why does this feel familiar I've been here before or that person's energy feels like somebody I dealt with in the past right so it's like even if life tries to um, uh, test you guys I feel like you're going to pass the test with flying colors because you're like wait a minute I can sense energy now, I'm more intuitive or I'm more sensitive, I'm more open, right? I'm more open to receiving information and things like that, so I'm not gonna fall for the same old stuff. But I feel like this energy signature, you guys are gonna be mindful of the people you have around you because you're gonna realize that they affect your energy, whether that is good or bad here, okay? We also have the radiant moon of compassion here, okay? And then we have this here. Yeah. Okay. So let me see. Group one. I'm hearing a balance, a, a balance or like a dance. So what I'm getting here is that there's going to be more balance and the big changes for you guys. It's like you're going to have more balance in your life. Maybe that's something that's been difficult for you that you've been trying to manifest or something like that. You're just like, God damn it. I can't get it. Like, that's the vibe that I get here. 
but I'm sensing you guys are definitely going to be liberating yourself from a situation here, okay? Um, you're going to have more compassion because you are experiencing more self-love or because you've been working on that. Uh, whatever you're bringing towards you, it's going to be full of compassion. So you're going to have more compassion uh, for other people. People are going to have more compassion for you. There's a lot of like a big heart energy uh, coming towards you guys, okay? So more kind of life experience or life goals or stuff happening. Like I said, distant horizon, which is again, distant traveling. This is distant international traveling, traveling far places, uh, relocating far places, things like that. That's something where even could be messages from um, uh, far places that you're going to hear back from, whether that's like a visa, uh, passport, things like that. You know, those are uh, changes. You're going to be able to travel again. The wealthy man and community. I do feel like a big change is going to be meeting somebody of uh, some kind of status within your community, within your environment. You're actually going to be surprised this person is around. Um, but I'm getting a sense with community is, is whatever your niche is, whatever you're doing, whatever you're trying to do. It's like you meeting somebody very important who's going to help you achieve your your goals that's what I get because the wealthy man he's always about business always he's always about business he's always about making money together and things like that we're just a business partnership you come together and this is something that is like it's, it's a goal focus for you or it's like on par or on target with what you're wanting um things like that okay I heard sponsorships and ads for some of you guys I heard partnerships committees uh organization uh things like that okay also the sense of community you guys are going to be feeling a sense of community big changes coming up for you is finding your community okay finding that community of people who truly understand you some of you guys are also going to find yourself more involved and active in your community participating uh, in your community events uh, i'm hearing social uh I heard so, social programs social justice activism things like that okay um yeah let me see if there's anything else for you guys here yeah, just getting a sense of, like, it's almost like a new identity, but it's a... You, you've created this fresh beginning, so give yourselves a pat on the back, okay? Amazing, love it. So, group one, that was your reading. I hope that this uh, gave you guys some clarity and some inspiration in some way. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time. Hello, group two. This is going to be a reading of what big changes are coming your way here. So the first thing I get for you guys, group two, I, the first thing I heard was receptivity. Receptivity. And we have the page of cups, knight of uh, cups, and then the full reverse. So I feel for you guys, you guys, what big changes, you're going to be more open uh, to spirit than ever. Page of Cups and Knight of Cups, these are Cups energy. Cups to me is water energy. That is being receptive. That is, is flowing with the universe. So the Page of Cups is being receptive to these ideas that uh, your guides are planting in your head, okay? Um, or that the messages that they're delivering to you or that passed away loved ones you're delivering to you. Um, you guys are definitely very guided here. There's a lot of, you have a lot of, um, uh, like a really big spiritual team as well. And I feel like that's what they're doing with this page of cups but I'm, I'm i'm hearing whimsical and playfulness so i feel like the big change is coming to you group two is having more of that in your life okay certain situations um getting invited out to events and things like that the knight of cups to me is an invitation so i feel like you guys are gonna get invited to a lot of stuff and and this is this is just gonna be like my god i am busy all the time now like <laughs> i used to just have time for myself and now i'm just going here and here and here it's gonna be great so your social life is really gonna pick up for you a lot of people are going to like your vibe uh, with this uh, page of cups is somebody who's emotionally receptive. So this is some people are going to be feeling more um, uh, like genuinely connected to you. OK, I also feel like you guys are going to be investing in something that is super creative for you. It gives you that inner child innocence it, it, or you're going to be connecting more to your inner child and things like that. But this is more like um, uh, it's something creative that it's 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 tied to playfulness. It's tied to wonderment. It's tied to imagination, creativity with these two here. Um, so I do feel like that's really beautiful. And I feel like this is actually going to heal you guys. This is really going to make you, this is almost like if you've been experiencing blockages, this is going to be opening the door to the, to just more abundance from the universe, because I feel like you guys are going to stop with the full in reverse, being so hesitant, uh, to stop being so cautious, to stuck them getting an image of somebody like, like uh, there's like a, like a cliff diving, right? And you have all your friends at the bottom, but you keep overthinking, overthinking, overthinking. And I feel like you're just gonna be like, okay, 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 just jump. Like that's that's what I'm getting. It's not impulsiveness. It's it's like a calculated risk, but it's almost like I need to I need to learn how to have some fun. I need to go out. I need to stop doing this. So it's like a lot of your patterns repeated 
old pattern cycles, routines that maybe worked for you, these big changes coming up, you're going to be creating new ones. And I feel like because you're receptive to the messages from your guides, you're going to be creating more like better routines that is going to fulfill you, make you feel fresher, make you feel better. Okay. Um, so that's what I'm getting for you guys in terms of like uh, big changes. So I absolutely love that. Also having a balance between being realistic and being playful or being realistic and being a bit, not necessarily idealistic, but to me, it's just more about creativity and imagination here uh, with the Page of Cups and just invo in, in, investing in people who you who give you that same energy or who fill up your cup, right? That's like what I get rather than people who are not, or people who are going to waste your time. I feel like that's changing. Look at that. Will of Fortune. Yes, bitch. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God. Yes. Okay. Um, so group two, please. We have the justice here. What changes are coming up for you guys? Things are going to start going your way. You have the justice and will of fortune. So this is telling me group two that life has been very difficult for you. It has not gone the way you wanted. There's been a lot of hiccups. There's been a lot of delays. Things just, the timing has been just, it's like, why are, do you have a vendetta against me? Like, that's what I'm getting here in terms of maybe how you guys feel about life and stuff like that here. But with the justice, this is about coming together. Okay, justice is about all the little pieces falling falling into place again, okay? Uh, there's good karma, definitely good karma. Uh, good, the big changes, good karma, out of nowhere. Just stuff lining up, Th this is good karma. So when it happens, thank the universe. Will of Fortune, risk. If there is a big risk you want to take with some kind of creative project, do, going down a creative path, this is about opportunity to me here. It is a timing, and this is the now, now the time so with the, the big changes coming to you guys is rather than hearing about it's not the right time you're gonna be hearing that everything is aligned right now you have the green light go for it type of energy you've been trying to attract love you have this this is like the time now that's like what I'm getting here if you're trying to attract anything in your life with the justice it's going to equal you it's going to equal your value and it's going to be what you deserve okay with the seven of pentacles in the reverse to me this is about usually about giving up okay and I feel like yeah you guys are going to be giving up you're going to be giving up on stuff that you're not invested in because it, ha it hasn't given you anything you're unfulfilled with it so why continue and when you sacrifice that and when you let go of that you have all this other good stuff that you actually care about so those are big changes coming up for you guys you're going to stop investing your time into stuff that's not taking you anywhere or situations or people or jobs or whatever that's not taking you anywhere you know um also the justice here this is about coming together again so like i said this could be about even like resolving uh issues with family or resolving issues with uh friends um just having a better relationship with the people around you those are big changes coming up for you okay well fortune is just stuff going in your fiber so let's see for group two okay Okay, group two, no more blocked intuition for you guys. Big changes, no more blocked intuition with the goddess of the moon reversed. Remember how I said in the very beginning, you're very receptive. Spirit messages, observed limitation. This is all about those synchronicities you see every single day. And like I said, this is your pathway, loved ones. These are your ancestors. This is your spiritual team sending you messages because they're like, oh my God, they're open to it. Oh my God, they actually understand what we're sending uh, them. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So you guys are definitely gonna be the group who's gonna be seeing just more synchronicities that than most people um, and the synchronicities aren't just numbers like it goes beyond that you know it, it goes it goes it just goes beyond that I don't know how to explain it you'll you'll figure it out uh, but stuff that you're like oh my god that was like coincidence nah there are no coincidences only inevitability and that's what the wheel of fortune is too remember how I said everything's gonna be lining up for you oh my god I met this the right person at the right time that's what I mean with the blocked intuition if you guys have been feeling very doubtful or not trusting yourself that's changing absolutely so those are the big changes coming up for you is that you're going to be trusting yourself more and you're going to really see that you're not alone and you're going to see that you have a spiritual team and you're just going to be feeling more confident or you have this innate sense of like uh determination or just like I'm going to be good. The universe has my back type of energy here. That's something you're going to be naturally developing. So that's a big change coming to you. Now with this trust card here, this card is usually about being aware of the people you keep in your life here. So for you group two, the big changes is, um, because of, um, 
what I was saying about you finally attracting people who are like like minded and stuff like that, you are going to have instances where you meet people who are going to kind of test you. But because you don't have blocked intuition anymore, I am getting a sense that you're not going to be falling for old tactics. You're not going to be falling for the same type of people. You're not going to be falling for the same situation. You're just going to be like, wait a minute, this sounds this this looks really familiar actually no 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 I don't think I'm gonna invest with you or uh-uh um, because this is about like uh, trusting the wrong person right um, so I feel like you guys are gonna start keeping your plans to yourself or you're just intuitively gonna know who to tell your business to and who not to tell your business to you're not gonna be fooled by anybody and people are gonna be like god damn what happened to them they used to be so gullible or they used to be so trustworthy and you're just like nah bitch not no more so that, <laughs> that's like the vibe that I get with this here okay <laughs> love it love it okay we have stepping into your power absolutely and playing it safe yep in the reverse love it so i do feel for you group two this is about like you're no longer and the playing it safe isn't always about like the risk it's just about newness you know you're tired of your bubble and you're tired of this damn fence and you're just like you know what i don't i don't want to be in this fence anymore like I'm bored I don't want to do this it's not making my soul grow so you're just open to uh creating more abundance and just more uh freedom in your life really that's what it seems okay uh with this playing it safe here um I also feel like for you guys you're going to stop limiting yourself it's about limited experiences you're going to stop limiting yourself and you're just going to move on to something new or somebody new uh, some of you guys could be downsizing maybe your home or a company or um uh, the sale of your house and you're just like yeah I don't really need all this anymore like there, there's a sense of simplifying these big changes that are happening are almost going to be simplifying your life that whatever remains is what I care about you know like the if you have the, the concept of minimalism that's similar to what your life is going to be uh like what's just naturally going to be occurring it's just like I don't need this stuff and I don't need this stuff like whatever I have around me I care about and I actually use that's the sense that I get like utilitarianism utilitarian Util being a utilitarian where you're using everything. Uh, you buy stuff that you use and it's no longer buying stuff just to buy stuff. Stepping into your power, you're strong beyond measure. I do feel for the big changes, you're gonna realize how strong you are. There's gonna be a situation where you're, I'm hearing that you're gonna be clapping for yourself because you're gonna be proud of standing up for yourself. So if that's something that you've been struggling with, I do feel like you're going to actually master that here, okay? Um, but yeah, with the call of the dancing crane, this is about shifting your environment here, okay? So I do feel like you guys are going to be taking some kind of vacation or you're just going to understand your energy more and you're going to know what's going to make you feel better. Like, huh, I just, you know, I just need a change in pace or I need to like, you know, let's go to like, uh, um, I don't know, go to like the beach with my friend or something. Like you're going to understand how to improve uh, your thoughts or your beliefs and your emotions like it's almost it's transmuting that stuff here You're gonna learn how to heal yourself because your intuition is no longer blocked. Okay um, Yeah, I do feel like you're I heard divine beings there's gonna be a lot of divine beings You're going to be um, um, visited by either in dreams or you're just gonna feel their presence or you could even um, You know watch stuff and you hear certain goddesses or certain uh, demigods you hear specific names and, and it's because those um, I call that ascendant masters are right there with you. Okay now for you guys in terms of more practical kind of like your like current life stuff here uh, we have um, um, Unexpected income some of you guys are gonna get an unexpected job offer well, maybe the job offer is something you've been like wanting, but I'm getting something unexpected move because of job. Like, oh my God, I just got a job in uh, Hawaii and now I have to relocate. And that's like, that's exactly what this is. Okay, that's what I'm getting for you guys group two. So there's gonna be some big change. Like that's a massive change, isn't it? We have a main male. It, it could be from a main male uh, that you're in a business with. It could be a boss, an employer or some, someone like that. But it is it's definitely career finance focused here. And for you guys group two, you're gonna be making unexpected income so whatever you're doing and whatever you're going to stop playing safe and limiting yourself whatever you end up doing because i'm telling you you have the motherfucking will of fortune and justice so this is just like god damn anything is possible you want to make fucking two thousand dollars a month you can you can manifest that unexpected income is being um paid or uh something you're gonna be like oh my god i can make money from this Whoa, 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 whoa. This could even be finding multiple streams of income for you guys. But I do see a move, okay? This is literally relocation. So some of you guys are definitely changing. Could also be changing with, um, could be a vehicle or a car or something like that. We have the number nine. So this could take maybe nine days, nine months, nine weeks, things like that here. But yeah, these are just big changes and I love that for you. So, um, yeah, that was your reading group uh, too. Hope that, um, this helps you guys out in some way. Um, give you clarity. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.
Hello, group three. Let's see what big changes are coming up for you guys. Okay. So, the first thing I get for you guys, group three, is that there are going to be, um, with the temperance reverse, what I'm getting with this is that, with the big changes, if there's anything in your life that you feel something has been going right, but if you feel like there's any shift in energy, like, okay, why isn't this suddenly not working anymore? How come this doesn't resonate anymore? Or why is this, like, there is a sense of how come this isn't right with the temperance here? The temperance in reverse to me is always about, like, uh, uh, forgetting to look within. So what I'm getting the big changes for you guys is that you're going to have many possibilities of how to fulfill yourselves, okay? Um, and I'm, I'm getting also a sense of, like, pulling back. So it's not necessarily hermit, it's just more about self-care mode, okay, with the Nine of Cups. Is I'm getting self-care, you're going to finally, uh, it's almost like you're going to have some kind of realization on the different ways that you can, um, um, spirit side manifest support for yourself or, or to, um, cultivate a sense of like, uh, like a routine. There's a, there's just like a self-care, self-love routine. Nine of Cups is about emotional fulfillment, but it's something you do for yourself. Cause you're just like, wow, look at what I did, right? She has a sanctuary and I'm also getting a sanctuary, like a room I'm hearing for you guys, uh, for you group three. Um, the big changes is like, you're going to either you have, or you're in the process of doing it, or it's going to change in some way. You have a sanctuary and it's a room. It's a space. It could be an altar. There's some kind of area you're going to retreat to, to raise your vibration, to, um, you know, um, what do you call it? fill up your battery and things like that. With the seven of cups, I'm getting the sense of possibilities and look how happy she is. She's not confused. She's happy here. I do feel for you guys. There are going to be a lot of possibilities and I get a lot of people offering you things and they're all going to be really good, but you're, you can't take them all, right? That's what I'm getting. So I'm getting more like, Hey, you want to try this and this? Hey, 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 Hey. Uh, it's, it's almost like certain things that you do you may be being like, oh, well, you know, it's just gonna, it's just not, it may not happen. Or I don't really think I'm going to get that. And you, you'll be surprised. That's like what I'm getting. Spirit saying shock or surprise. So there's going to be a lot of shocks and surprises, but it's in a positive way um, in terms of the big changes coming up for you. Seven of Cups to me is also a sense of illusion and imagination and stuff like that. So if you are creative, I do feel like you're, there's going to be a lot of creative um, energy, kind of synergy. Uh, kind of shifting around you and things like that. So if you, I'm not getting any creative blockages for you guys. Um, if you are artists, so you're just going to naturally flow. There's going to be a lot of possibilities of you just doing everything in your life. You're like, wait a minute. Uh, so it's, it's, it's almost like, it's almost like you, you're, you know, you wake up and you have a routine, but there's so many other routines. You know what I'm saying? You d do meditation, but there's all types of meditation. You have, uh, you make a meal plan, but there's different ways of making a meal plan. You know, there's different ways of doing that. They're different. That's like the vibe that I get in terms of big changes. You're going to be seeing possibilities and they're going to be very simple, but to you, they're going to be like, wow, I didn't know you can do that. Or wow, that re that's really helpful. Um, or something like that here. Okay. Sorry about that. But that's like, that's what I'm getting for you guys, okay? Um, because the temperance is about balance and harmony. And I feel like you're going to create that. You're going to find what, what makes you balanced and harmonious. With the Nine of Cups, I get a lot of wishes coming true for you, Group 3. A lot of big changes. It's a lot of stuff that you're wanting to happen. It's going to happen. Because you made the steps. You, you took the steps. You made the plans. Things like that. Um, a lot of wishes are going to be coming true. So do expect that here in terms of big changes, okay? So I love that for you. All right, so let me see what else for you. Group three, Some big changes. Yeah, we got the sun card. Why am I not surprised? We got the hangman, which is about uh, not being able to surrender or not being able to let go and stuff like that. I am getting a lot of worry shifting, actually. A lot of stuff you were worried about. Be you okay, yeah, spirit is saying burden lifted. Bam. So, yeah, a lot of burdens are going to be lifted with the Nine of Wands here. And the Hangman is about feeling stuck. Uh, because you have the Sun card. It's the best card out in, in you know, the entire tarot spread. I do feel for you guys, Group 3, um, you're going to be kind of... Um, a lot of past struggles, all that is leaving your life. The Sun represents things going your way. It represents positive shifts, okay? Uh, it's dynamic. The Sun is about identity, creation, imagination, playfulness, joy, okay? Laughter again. Whatever you're stressed about, that's going to poof, go away. It's literally poof, okay? With the Nine of Cups, it's just going to go away. The Hey Man, again, is a sense of stubbornness here or, you know, not wanting to let go. Something you're not wanting to let go of uh, because maybe you feel like you need to keep it, keep it here is naturally going to shift out of your life. And I feel like that's going to raise your vibration or you're going to feel like, 
oh, liberated. There, there's some kind of like relief coming over me. So I do feel uh, it's like the sun is representing the big changes and the sun's all about growth. Okay. And uh, personal relationships, uh, it's a newfound optimism, uh, positivity, enthusiasm about life again. Okay. So yeah, those are the big changes. I love that for you. Okay. More positive energy here. Look at that. The sun again. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Here's the sun again here. So let's see what else we got for you. Good three. All right, sorry about the damn dog. I do feel for you guys here. I'm getting a sense of je je jealousy here. I don't know if this is a pattern that you guys had, or maybe you found out you were doing this, but I feel with an envy here, you're going to stop envying people. Like, you guys are simply just going to stop um, looking at people's stuff and be like, I wish I could do that. I wish I could be them. Oh my God, come on, be straight. Stuff like that. I just feel like you're, and, and when people tell you the good news, you're just going to learn how to congratulate them and be like, that's awesome. I'm so happy for you. And you're just going to, like, intuitively know your blessings are coming. Okay, I'm done. I'm not, I don't care if that's straight or not. I can't do this. Um, but that's what I get with this envy here. Because I feel like this envy has been holding you back. It's been limiting you guys in some way here. Um, right? And I also feel like you're going to start feeling more grateful uh, to the stuff in your life here. Maybe, you know, you're like, yeah, I know, I'm grateful. Yeah, I have this, I have that, but I don't have this and I don't have that and I don't have that, right? So I am getting a sense of this, you're shifting your focus, okay? Um, yeah, exactly. So it's almost like, um, yeah, Spirit saying when you're, when you're uh, you know, uh, focusing on other people and what they have and envy in them, then it only attracts more to them, not you, you know? So I feel like you guys are starting to realize that here. Biggest changes is you're just going to start focusing on yourself and you're just taking a step back from other people. You're like, that's cool. Don't really care what's happening in your life. Hope it's good. But yeah, deuces. <laughs> that's like the vibe that I get. We have clear and activate, create a uh, sacred space. Like I said, there is sacred space. So I do feel there's a room. I don't know what this is. There's a room. There's an area. There's going to be some place you go to for spiritual salvation. That, that's the vibe that I get. And it's they just have to say salvation, which is so dramatic. But yeah, <laughs> for some, it's going to be in your bathroom. Like it's going to be in your bathtub. I'm getting a lot of rituals. I don't know. I just sense that you guys are going to have a lot of like... Um, just different routines for yourselves. Yeah. So I love that for you. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Um, okay, so the Sisters of the Sun Rising. The Sisters of the Sun Rising is definitely about collaboration. It's almost like the Three of Cups energy. So for you guys, Group 3, there is collaboration, okay? And this is about people helping you. But it, it's more and more than just helping. You're going to realize that you're more powerful doing things with others than by yourself. Because the power of collaboration and choosing what, to work with others and joint projects, right? It's going to be some synergy, uh, where you guys can grow together. So again, the sun to me is also about attraction. So you're going to be, if you need help or the universe knows what you need, if they send any type of people whatsoever, these are not just people that are just like, I met them randomly. They have a deeper purpose in your life. So do remember that here, okay? We have answering the call. Uh, we have, uh, yeah, answering the call. The time is now. So I do feel for you guys, group three, you're going to be feeling, if you haven't felt already, this big push to just do something that you've been wanting to do. Go somewhere you've been wanting to go uh, with the time is now. Like, oh, when should I now? Now, should I should I start my chant now? The energy is planning an action. So if this hasn't happened yet, it oops, sorry, my bad. But that ha hasn't happened yet. It's gonna happen very soon. But you're going to start planning and putting things into action here. This is a time of acceleration for you. So it's about strategy, okay? Making specific plans, being sure you could reach those goals, uh, creating certain schedules or uh, whatever you know. You're kind of organizing your life for things to go in your way, okay? For no, yeah, to, for things to go in your way. So you're, you you have your goals and you're like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get here. And I feel like you're honestly going to find things happening easier for you, uh, quicker for you, shifting. And you're just going to be like, wow, was it always this easy? So whatever this this energy is with the planning and action here, um, this is this is really going to change your life for the better. Now, in terms of more practical sense, in terms of the changes, I do, I don't, I heard court case for some of you, so I don't know if you're going through a court case. This could be some a uh, court case that you win, a positive message here. 
Okay, but there's a courthouse. So for some, I'm hearing deed and signing contracts. So there's going to be a lot of contracts for your group three signing stuff, but make sure you're looking over contracts. But I get the sense of high status. I heard status rising for some with the official person. You guys are going to meet somebody who's very, they're official. Like they could be in the military. They could be uh, in the, I don't know, like a pilot. They could be in, uh, they could work in the government. There's somebody who's like of, uh, it's a status that you're not used to dealing with these people. That's what this sisters of the rising sun the sun rising i'm telling you the people uh that you're going to be collaborating with or meeting there they have a deeper meaning in your life okay but i am sensing that some of you guys are going to receive a message from court or you're going to receive a message about a contract or about maybe a house dealing i keep hearing deeds uh, i heard of uh, financial institutions uh things like that okay so, uh, loans things like that okay the, the the messages are going to be more business uh oriented more finance oriented i feel like they're good news still okay official person some of you guys could just make an official you know meet somebody who's like i don't know part of the police force or something they're a new friend or something like that but they have resources i'm getting that this person has resources and they can help you out in the future very interesting so wow um yeah so that was your reading group three Hope that you guys um, found this insightful uh, and interesting. I uh, love this for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Wish you guys the best. Till next time. Hello, group four. This is going to be what big changes are coming up for you. So, group four. First thing I hear is about fucking time. About mother effing time. Okay. You guys have the ace of pentacles, death, and the six of pentacles. Group four. Blessing, okay? Blessing on blessing on blessing. And I'm getting a lot. It's going to be a lot of money, prosperity, financial blessings coming to you. Ace of Pentacles to me is saying that this is a gift from the universe. This is something that um, you're going to be gifted here, okay? It could be a new job. It could be generating more money. It could be making more money, uh, suddenly getting a raise, a promotion. Whatever you do, it's going to generate money with the Ace of Pentacles to me. It's an opportunity of financial abundance, basically. And the Ace of Pentacles is going to tie in with the death here. The death to me is about your it's about change but it's also about ending some of you guys could leave a job for a better job okay but also the death here there's a sense of like financial struggle that's ending okay big change happening is going to be financial shifting financial struggle shifting because you're going to be blessed with something and the ace of pentacles is not just getting a job and that's it this is about wealth that's why i like i love the ace of pentacles because this is not money money is fast wealth is slow so if you guys, this is also about big changes in investments. Maybe you're going to be looking into investments. You're looking to build wealth, money that you're going to have for a very long time. Or even if it's opportunities and people, this is stuff you're going to be in for a very long time. This is kind of like career, lifelong, life purpose type of stuff that you're like, oh yeah, I worked there for 50 years. Or yeah, I've been doing that for 12 or you know 20 years. Things That's, that's what I'm getting here. So those are big changes coming to you. You're going to be transitioning into that with the, with the death card here okay um the death is about ending of a cycle so some some cycle um in your life uh regarding this you learn the lesson time to move on here six of pentacles a lot of money coming to you from other people other resources almost like eighth house energy you're going to be getting this a lot of uh, financial blessings from a lot of people and i feel like a lot of people are going to be on your side the six of pentacles just be somebody giving you a gift you know um this could even be just like an organization your community um if you guys build some kind of wherever the community is whether it's online or in person this is people supporting you you know like this is the energy of somebody making a gofundme and they're, they're like i'm trying to raise uh, 13, uh, maybe $1,300. And then they end up raising $12,000. This is this type of energy where what you put in, you're going to, the universe is going to deliver tenfold and you're going to be like, Whoa, holy crap. The universe is like, you deserve this, right? So that's why I said about motherfucking time, because you guys deserve this. Okay. You've been manifesting this for a long time. Uh, the struggle's over uh, with the Six of Pentacles here, okay? It says, love more, love more. You're going to be feeling more love. And I feel like with this exchanging of gifts, um, people are going to be giving you stuff. Um, but also getting, like, if you buy a friend something valuable, they're going to buy you something valuable back. It's not going to be that weird energy that's like, I bought you something really cool, but then, like, my birthday comes and then you bought me, like, fucking socks, like... I got you a watch and you got me socks. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> you know, it, even though it's not about that monetary aspect, it's about the respect between each other and it's about 
matching that effort. So people and situations, opportunities are going to start matching your effort. If I put 110%, you put 110%. That's what I'm getting. Or it's like the universe is like, you put 100% and I'll give you 120 back. That's that's what I'm getting here. I love that for you. Okay. Um. So let's see what else for your group four. So yes to his prosperity here. Yes to motherfucking prosperity. Group four. Group four. To come out, got the page of swords. Group four got the sun. Oh my god, everybody got the sun! Love it. Got the knight of cups. A lot of invitations as well. Your guys' social life is going to be picking up with the knight of cups in the sun card. I see you guys going to outings, wine tastings, uh, events, parties, gathering, celebration, all that stuff here. Okay. Um, or this is something that, like, uh, if, you know, if you're still in COVID or wherever wherever you are in um, the world and it's still COVID here, uh, know that this is in your future. Okay. When things start getting better. Page of Swords to me is about uh, imagination, but it's also about um, knowledge, um, exploration, and curiosity. So I do feel like you guys are going to be learning a new skill with the page of swords this has to tie in with the ace of pentacles and because you're going to be learning a new skill you're going to be generating more money for yourselves in the future um i heard practices in business so i don't know if you guys are going to have a like a medical practice a business idea a, a study business uh, something like that i don't know but spirit saying that stuff is going to pay off for you all your rewards gonna pay off okay um I heard new friends for you guys as well, so I feel like big changes. You can get at least two new friends uh, with the sun here. I feel for some, it's only for a small few of you, you can have a son or somebody in your family is going to have a son. This is going to be a very beautiful type of, of time here, like a birth of a child and stuff like that, okay? So, look at that. You got the sun and the sun. This literally happened to group three or two. I don't remember. There was a group that had the sun and the sun. Double sun. Sun is amazing. Sun is attraction. Sun is abundance. Sun is happiness. Laughter. You're going to be able to laugh again. Be happy again. Maybe you haven't done that in a minute. Um, I love that for you. So, big changes is just more happiness, you know? Because that's what we fucking need in this world. More happiness. Princes of Autumn. Uh, Harvest is honestly like the Nine of Pentacles. So, I do feel like for you guys... Um, a blessing, a divine blessing, it's on its way to you. This blessing is going to come to the form of many different things from, uh, you know, for everybody's different. It's going to be a windfall of abundance for some. Uh, for some, it could be a significant relationship that goes the distance. Some can meet their spouse, you know. Uh, for some, it could be important friendships that they're going to have, like, uh, meeting uh, lifelong friends. Uh, things like that. No group four. If you take away anything from this reading, the big change is coming to you. And remember this. You have the motherfucking Ace of Pentacles. And Ace of Pentacles is longevity. This is long-term shit because the Ace of Pentacles is wealth. Re wealth is something you have for a long time. Money is, money is something that runs out. Remember that. So when it comes to relationships and connections in your life and you meet these new people, these are people who are going to stay with you. They're not no random karmic people that are just like, oh, learn lesson and bounce. You did that already. Did you not with the death card, right? No more of that energy here. Um, that's what I'm feeling for you guys very strongly. Like spirits like more long-term stuff, okay? More long-term more long-term stability no no random spurts of uh this stuff anymore that's so yeah mm -hmm. um now i'm gonna read the book for this because this, this is a very interesting card every time i see this card reverse i have to read the book for it because it's just a fascinating message here so give me a minute it says um is this the one is this page yeah okay so it says, uh, when this card's reversed, it's an, ev it's an even more empathetic announcement about the arrival or presence of an important guide in your life. This is tying into the Page of Sword because the Page of Sword to me is all about learning. It's also about something that's worth fighting for. It's all about communication as well. But I feel like with the Page of Swords, you guys are going to get some kind of significant communication. Some of you guys are going to meet somebody very significant and they're a guide to you. They could be an instructor, a mentor, because it said this may be a talent guide, a past life guide, or an expert of any kind. So this could be somebody who's in the present here or for some it could be somebody who um is in like a past life or during spirit form you'll you'll feel this for some you're going to be getting a new spirit guide uh, or somebody from your spiritual team is arriving because at this moment in your life especially when these big changes do occur 
you need them. Like there are certain guides and it's kind of like, okay, bye-bye. That aspect, that phase of my life is over. Now I need a new guide. So that's what I'm getting. Okay. Um, it also says this card is calls for you to open up to some important guidance available to you about the projects you're working on. Perhaps a talent guide or some other expert is reaching out to help. That's what the page of swords. There could be some, I don't know what you guys are doing, but <laughs> for some, there could be somebody that gets scouted. Somebody's going to message you like, Hey, I like what you're doing. I want to help you out. Hey, I saw your post. I saw your blog. I saw your performance, something like that. It says it may even be someone famous like M Monet if you're an artist or or Mozart if you're into music. Do not think that you don't deserve these helps of these legendary spirits. They love what they did while they were on earth plane and they love to help those who are following the same pursuits. You also have a personal guide who is always on your shoulder whispering wisdom to help you along. Open up to these powerful presents that uh, this card could reveal. So interesting message with the Mozart and the Monet is basically like whatever you guys are doing that's similar to maybe famous legend for say, example Michael Jackson, you can channel the spirit of that person. You can channel them. You can. And uh, you can start feeling certain things. And I don't know if some of you guys um, have a specific person that you're like super um, dedicated towards or you're very, uh, you feel very uh, drawn to them. But that's what I'm getting. Some of you guys are going to channel somebody famous uh, to help you out with something. So that's an interesting message. Okay, group four. We have meditation. Improvements require persistence. So group four, I do feel for you guys. If you're not into meditation, you're going to be. Uh, the big change is coming up for you is you're going to realize that meditation is going to be solving a lot of your problems, okay? So for example, if you have a blocked chakra, if you've been feeling blocked with money, uh, there's a lot of different mantras, okay? A lot of different mantra meditations, guided meditations, uh, sound meditations that you can do. And it says improvements require persistence. The Ace of Pentacles to me is also about investing, okay? It's about investing uh, your time and effort and dedication into something that's going to provide long-term results for you. So for you guys, I do feel like a lot of you guys are going to come into this uh, with the meditation. You're going to have a meditation routine or technique that you do and you're going to see it work wonders. This is something you may want to share or you're going to keep to yourself. Um, but this is with the uh, freedom. This is going to liberate you. So if you've been having like emotional stress and pain or even back pain or even something physical, you'd be surprised what meditation could do when you're consistent. Okay. It's about persistent and being consistent. So I do feel like there's going to be some aha, like, whoa, holy crap, that really works type of energy here. Okay. With the freedom in terms of what new, uh, the big changes for you is limiting yourself from restrictions here. I feel like there's a lot of good vibes around like self-promotion, uh, reinventing something, new opportunities are going to arrive for you and things like that here. Um, so anything that you feel that like you need to change, I feel like those are changes for the better. Okay. Uncovering treasures we have, uh, beneath the surface lies great bounty. I do bounty. I do feel for you group four. You guys are going to realize a lot of treasures and jewels that you have. Maybe you didn't think much of them they could be abilities you had they could just be uh things that you kept close to your chest or something but this is like venturing outward trying to find the treasure when it's inside you all along or when it's like right behind you there's almost something it's almost like coming to a realization that oh i need that it was here all along i didn't have to go out for that i didn't have to pay money for that what the hell um so in terms of the big changes i just feel like you're going to be uncovering treasures um kind of just realizing like the uh what do you call it what do you call it? Yeah, there's just like clarity of, of what truly matters and not focusing your energy, investing your energy on shit that don't matter and shit that doesn't give you results. Okay, whether these results is emotional healing or it's, it's um, uh, you know, uh, feeling more open or uh, working on trust issues, whatever that is here. It's just more of just realizing what truly matters here. Okay. I also feel like with this uh, freedom in terms of relationships for you guys with the sun here, I do feel like you're going to stop attracting unavailable people. People who are not available, fuck, but, fuck boys, fuck girls, uh, people who just want to waste your time, shit like that. I don't feel like you're going to be attracting those people. They're not going to be attracted to your energy anymore, which is like, thank God, right? <laughs> All right, so group four. We have high honors and we have this coffin and we have this thief here. Interesting. Let me see. So this is more practical stuff happening in your life here. Okay. Okay, I heard for specifically for you, group four, because you're going to have so much really good stuff happening, someone's going to try to take something from you. So this is something to be aware of with the, uh, with the thief here, okay? Be careful of the people you allow in your space. 
especially uh, if there if there are people that kind of just kind of come to you out of nowhere here with this thief, they want what you have, okay? The coffin to me is about an ending of something. That's like the death card literally here. It's the ending of a situation, uh, moving on, closing the, closing the door, done, done, done. Uh, with the high honors, I am getting a sense for you guys of um, accolades. I'm hearing accolades, rewards, trophies, you know, things like that, right? Uh things like that. Yeah. So I'm hearing promotion for some. So there's a sense of like high honors uh, where you're going to be getting high remarks or if you guys are like doing a test, taking a test, or if you're taking uh, something that's really important to you, you're going to be doing really well. Okay. And that's, you're going to be able to close the door on um, the Steve card could also feel like feeling like something's being taken from you. Right. It's almost like, it's almost like, oh my God, if I don't do well, I'm going to get this taken or I'm not going to be able to do this or something like that. I'm getting that energy shifting here. Um, but I feel like some of you guys are going to have high marks or you're going to pass tests that you need to, that are important to you um, and things like that here. Okay. Um, see if there's anything else for you guys. High honors is also, this is about attending fancy events. Some of you guys could attend some kind of like really fancy event uh, that's like official and important or something like that. Business meetings, stuff like that. But yeah, group four, that was your reading. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Hope this gave you some kind of clarity in some way. Thanks so much for watching. Wish you guys the best. Until next time.